which says that which is request to pay and then a reference ID this says that let's see what it says okay, this operation is used to get the status of a request to pay X reference ID that was passed in the post is used as a reference to the request so all we need to do is to make sure we pass the reference ID that we use in the post so I'll add a new one and it's a get request and then we need to use this reference ID that we use in our post previous post and then um, we are trying to get that transaction the status for that transaction so I'll paste it in here and let me see what it requires parameters we need reference ID as a request parameter which is here and then the header we need the target as target environment we also need these so I can I think I, I need to actually set this one in the container too so when I come back to this place and I go to the collection I'll go to edit and then I can add I can uh, prerequisite okay I can add anything here I can add those uh, I thought maybe I could add uh, the headers over here so I can use it like the authorization page so let me add this key and headers I'll put this one here go quickly go for the key what did I put uh, the subscription key double click and then go back to and then paste it what does it require again so subscription key and then target environment so for the target environment we know that we're using sandbox so I'll just quickly type it in there sandbox and then um, see authorization is optional let's see so if it goes true okay we are going to get is it okay note that a failed request to pay will be returned with a status 2 so the status of the request to pay result can be used to determine the outcome of the request the reason field can be used to retrieve a cost in the case of failure so this is a get that means you don't uh, when we post you should get something similar to this so I will quickly go back to it and use a get and see what I get unauthorized good that is because we haven't saved for the authorization to inherit from the parent so I'll say I'll save it as um, the name will be getting status of request to pay I want a better name for it which will be getting I'll save it here as get get status request to pay transaction status now I say note this uses the X the generated X reference ID that was used in the payload or the header the header of the request okay so I think this is so after saving we know that now we are inheriting the authorization the token so I'll send it again and boom we have what we typed okay remember we said euro 5 and everything in status it was successful okay it was successful so let us say that um, your callback URL that you provided nothing happened and you couldn't get anything and if anything at all if you wanted to check if um, this request went through successful you can use this um, you can use this API you can you can make a request to this API to get the success using the X reference ID all right so let's move on to the next one I don't know where, where I don't let me check where I save this it has to be part of the collection okay so I'll move it to the collection as so I saved it inside the first time so the next thing is account balance so I'll quickly click on it and we check it 
and say okay get the balance of the account so let's see how we can get the account balance quickly and we'll paste it here and push this one aside and it is going to be it's a get request and what are the requests that which is going to be authorization the target environment and as usual the subscription key let me get them and quickly fill them okay so headers and then i'll paste in here and i'll quickly go for the target environment and then i'll paste it in here type sandbox since i already know sandbox and then i'll go back to this one check the headers that i supply which i need the subscription key and i'll paste in here and go back and check uh, what else do we need okay so we have provided everything and this is going to give us a response with the available balance a string and the currency a string so we are supposed to get 200 which is okay so let's make uh, i think it's, it's get okay so i'll send a get and unauthorized we need to save this okay um as what let's see account balance get account balance that's what i'll save it as so get account account balance and i'll say uh get account balance okay so if you want to get the balance of the account now save it inside um sandbox and then oh save it inside this and then it is going to be in the collection product and save and i will send it again internal access to target environment is forbidden so not allowed target so x target environment sandbox okay why did that that why did we get 500 internal server error and we're supposed to get 200 okay and it says if we get this we could not allow target we can get this miss it access to environment is forbidden so why to access to the environment is forbidden instead of getting whatever we have here okay so okay then we check we have our subscription key of the x target environment let me see sandbox and we have our authorization header that's why the request went to in the first place but it says we cannot get this and i don't understand why but i'll i'll have to check it anyway um authorization x target environment and body okay representation incorrect environment bad request invalidated was then 500 pay not found pay not found not allowed in the target environment it says pay not found properties not found not allowed cannot not found or oh, this is an enum so we are getting not allowed target environment and we need to check our target environment okay we've been using sandbox throughout so why ain't you going through then i'll send it again and not found request resource was not found okay i think i'm getting something different all the time okay maybe i need to check the api if i got it correct api says just get okay i have to make sure i paste the right thing then i'll send it again and this time i get why do i get something different service and program are available try again later and requested resource was not found and authorization failed insufficient permission and now i have available balance negative 25 and the currency is euro i don't understand why i'm actually getting something different instead of getting this so finally our request went through it means we we're doing everything correctly but for some reason i needed to hit on it because uh, the request was hitting the endpoint and it wasn't giving us the response that we need
So let me try it again. If I try it again, I, if I try it again, I'm sure we're not going to get this. So I click and then okay, fine. Now we're getting what we're supposed to get. Available balance is zero and currency. It means this one is also working. Okay. So it's also working. We've already saved it. Let's move on to the next API in our collection.